Yes, this morning we speak to the first of our election candidates who's joined me in the studio. Alex Allison, 50 years old, has lived on the island for 15 years. Very good morning uh, to you. Morning. A general practitioner standing in Ramsey where he's been a commissioner for eight years. A track med- medic during the TT as well. Married with two children, an independent candidate. From a respected and settled job as a GP to the uncertain world of politics. So why? Why? Because we're in a time of enormous change and we need to make change. I've spent some great time at Ramsey as a commissioner, but I think now's the time to, to try to step up, to repeat, to try to represent the people of Ramsey at a more national level. Interesting question. You are a GP. Uh, yep. uh, if you are elected, what will your position be as regards your job? My position in the job is to carry on as a GP, but part-time. I think one of the things that's been shown out by the recent um, Brexit debate is a big, huge disenfranchisement of people from um, what they consider their politicians to be. Now, I don't intend to be a part-time politician, but I want to carry on being a GP so I can stay grounded to the reality of what people in Ramsey are going through. Isn't that going to give you the problem of people expecting you to be in your surgery when you're in Timbald and vice versa? I'm going to have to balance it. Um, Again, what I've been trying to do with my partners is to um, start altering my hours so I can go part-time, so I can spend time in Timwell when it's needed, but I can also be in Ramsey to represent the people there and know what they're going through. You've obviously been a commissioner for eight years. Um, Do you see yourself majoring on constituency matters in Ramsey, or do you yearn to ascend the national stage? It has to be both. I have to represent the constituents of Ramsey, but also we've got some major changes and some major challenges as a country as a whole. We've got some laws we need to change, particularly the, the law on abortion on the island. We've got to bring the public sector pensions in, into line and make sure that the people who are paying into it, including myself, are protected. We've got to look at our laws. We've got to look at the number of people we put into prison on this country. But we've also, the main thing is to protect the economy so we can pay for health and education. Pensions, you mentioned there. Yep. Are the government doing the right thing? I think they are. I think John Chimmons done, done an excellent job of actually talking to the people who have paid into their pensions for years, to talking to pensioners who were worried about losing them their livelihood. And I think he's done a very good job in terms of trying to balance it. But what about the legacy issue? That's still to be solved. It's a major the, part of the problem. It is. And one of the problems with the legacy issue is that successive governments have not been banking the contributions for members. They've been spending it. And one of the things I want to try to do is to stop this waste of money on vanity projects. You've been to the Festival Inter-Celtic Lorient, I understand. Is there more leeway for the Manx to advertise their Celtic roots and become uh, in, involved in Celtic terms? I think we have to. I think whilst not looking away from the UK, when you look at the things happening in Ireland, in Scotland, we are intrinsically part of that and we should relish it. Can you sum up how you see the island going in the next five years? I think the island can go from strength to strength as long as we listen to the people, as long as we represent those people, and as long as we focus on keeping the Isle of Man economy as healthy as possible.